Time to get it cracking. Kaleka block Kabanda. And Patrick Ochime. It's block and the beast. Round number one presented by Dragon Energy there in the animal print. That is Kaleka Kabanda. Multicolor, that's Patrick Ocheme, and we are on and popping here. Both men got some serious power. Who's going to strike first? Nice little inside leg kick from Patrick. You see the laser-like focus of Kudleka Kabanda. Patrick Ocheme looking very loose. Both just swinging a miss with the left hooks. Light on his feet on the outside of the chair, mate. Kabanda looks for a home for that big left he's got. Nice step in left in reply Ooh. from Acheme. Goes up high with the, the roundhouse. The speed of Acheme. Already you can see he has that speed advantage, son. Yeah, and Cabanda's willing him on and says you can bring it. I'll take that all day. The left high roundhouse from Acheme just whizzing over the top of Block's head. Patrick looking very light on the outside. But you can already see the fluidity in the kickboxing attack of Patrick Acheme. Again, another Nigeria versus DR clash here at EFC 119. It's a small little bouncy footwork from a chairman. Block a little bit more planted. Calm before the storm, Simon. Calm yeah. before the storm. Oh, just nice combination there by Block and on Chemi with that. That sidestepping jab there, just great movement, great lateral movement by Patrick oh, Ochemi. Oh, big shot nice from both. And down goes oh, and he's up. And another left. And another left. And and trying to finish it. Oh, down. This might be oh, over. And it is. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Incredible scenes and Brock here. Brock is losing his mind. He doesn't feel like it should be over. That was a chaotic five seconds. Ferdy Bassam stops this fight. Kabanda is losing it right now. Very, very angry. Wow. Does he have does he have a point, Simon? When you look at that, we're obviously gonna have to look at this. He got put down three times. A replay a number of times left. to see if he really has a position here. I gotta see the replay because it was a double knockdown, seemingly. I don't know how effective both shots were. They both scrambled to their feet, but it was a chairman whose follow-up shots were the more effective. I gotta see the replay, but uh, the crowd here are on their feet. I mean, they're going absolutely nuts. The World Sports well, Better. It's a Arena very tough roof. call. For, yeah, for Ferdy Bassan to make. There was a lot happening right there, and you obviously want to protect these fighters. It's it's part of the job. A very disappointing collective Kabanda for good reason. I mean, it, there was a lot going on there. He felt like he was still very much in the mix, like he was still in that fight. He landed a big shot. Achemi landed a big shot. It was back and forth. But Ferdy Bassan had seen enough. Yeah, we're just going to wait for the truck to... Rewind the tape because um, you know, just play all of it because it wasn't much for you know, it wasn't for long. Um, I'd love to see. <laughs> Here comes the Makuru action replay. There's the double knockdown. They get back up. They both exchanged lefts. It was a chairman that was more effective. Then another left, followed by the right. Then there's another left after that that puts him down again. Hammer fist, two, three, four, five. Five Ooh, I, don't know. I don't know either. He's getting up to his feet. He was going. He was going to the legs. He was trying to work on a takedown. Let's watch it all together here one more time. That's four knockdowns. Takes and a few shots. The three right on the money. Shots. One was right on the money. And he's. Uh, he may have a fair point. He was certainly scrambling to get up to his feet. But I don't know if that was because Fedi Besson got in there between the two of them and prevented further damage. You know, he would have taken a lot That's more a, shots as he got back, carried on getting up to his feet. It's a 13 I mean, fight veteran, you know, and I think maybe he thought he commanded more respect. I mean, you can, you can see that. Very frustrating here for Kalek Kabanda. But uh, what, a, what a great way to kick off this main card, man. Serious fireworks. <laughs> and a double knockdown. Let's throw it up to Hotel <laughs> Bala Ramopo. He'll make it all official for you. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ferdi Bassan has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute and 49 seconds of the first round, declaring your winner by knockout in the red corner, the 
beast, Patrick Ortemi. Let's have a couple of words with Patrick. Sensational. What a way of kicking off this main card. You've got to be happy with the finish over a veteran like Kaleka. Uh, first of all, I want to say thank God Almighty for giving me such a wonderful performance. Uh, there's a lot of things we wanted to do, though, because uh, we, we really did work hard in this fight camp. And uh, uh, I'm grateful I had uh, the likes of Krulay and helping me to touch up my striking. And the best coach in the world, uh, Dwayne Meredith, you know. You can't have him in your corner and you panic, you know. And then we have uh, Sheldon Roberts. He's been my number one fan, my number one supporter, my number one manager, my number one everything. It's all thanks to him that I'm doing the sport today, you know. Kaleka was disputing the finish. What's your thoughts about the end? Yeah, it could have been worse, because uh, from the very first time I touched him with a jab, I could see his eyes were red. You know, so that's when I'm like, it's gonna come. So when he worked in and I caught him with the, with the left hand and he, he stumbled a bit and I followed up as well. So, and I saw the referee trying to hold him. That's why I let go. So I don't understand why he's saying he could defend himself because the referee was trying to look out for him. It's safety first. That's the number one rule. You're developing quite a winning streak of sensational finishes here in the EFC. How are you gonna take this forward? Do you see the title in your future soon? Yeah, definitely, yeah, Mr. Graham. I want the title, to eh? I want the belt. So, and uh, there's nothing there's nothing I would love more than to, to, to face such a legend like Cabeza. I have a lot of respect for him. He's, uh, I call him the African John Joes, you know, because uh, he's the old, no offense to everybody in my division. Oh, he's the GOAT. No, no offense to anybody in my division. He's the one person, if I get a W over, that I can say, yes, I deserve to be one of the best in the world. Well, I'd love to see that fight, and you deserve it. One more quick. Uh, I want to say thank you to all those that made it possible for me to be here today, uh, especially uh, uh, Light Apparel for sponsoring me in this fight. Uh, with all of their, uh, their support, I really appreciate that. I want to say thank you to a special person, uh, Lynette Menches. She is my guiding angel. She's really been doing well for me. I want to say uh, thank you to, to Rago, King of Snacks. I want to say thank you to Mr. Matty from ANS for all the support and love he has been giving to me as well. And I want to say thank you to Mr. Rian, Blue Monkey Media. Hey guys, all of these guys, they've been really doing well for me. It's all thanks to them that I'm actually growing in the sport. So I want to say thank you to all of you right here for being here, sharing my name and stuff. I really do appreciate it. May God continue to bless all of you. And I want to make a promise to you guys, the next time I step into the cage, I'm going to try to do better. Just thank you very much. That was good enough, Patrick. Give it up for your winner, the beast, Patrick Ochebe. So there it is, man. He had a lot to say, right? Uh, Patrick Ochebe, you got to love it, man. What a delightful fighter and what a wild way to kick off EFC 119 in the main card. It's a beautiful thing, man. You never know what you're going to get here. Right out of the gate, you see why it is the most exciting sport in all of South Africa, the most exciting sport in the world today, right?